do. Celix, check the pressure. If that patch holds, we're gonna equalize in a few minutes. This door's gonna open. Turn this into a full-blown food bar. <laughs> You'll be doing us a hell of a favor to keep those doors open. Designed to lock down if the pressure decreases unexpectedly. So as soon as the I patch know the gave system, it, we have redundancies, we have backups. The manual override is down. There is no way of getting those inner doors to open. The thing must have taken heavy damage on the way out of New Caprica. The whole ship's taking a pounding. We need six weeks in dry dock just to hammer out the dings, let alone tackle the structural damage. How much time do they have? In the league that size, they'll be out of air in half an hour, maybe less. Those are blast doors. It would take at least an hour to cut through them. Why don't we put explosives in the observation booth, blow the glass, pull them out? Now the glass is strong enough to withstand a Tillium explosion. Anything strong enough to take out the glass will take out Tyrrell and Callie at the same time. I need a rescue plan, not excuses. Seven seconds. And another 10 to repressurize since we'll be doing this in open space. That's pushing it. All right, this might be a stupid question, but has anyone ever tried a rescue like this before? No one's ever been crazy enough. Doesn't matter, we're out of time. Prep for lunch. We've only got 18 minutes left. All right, let's go, we're on. I'm going to take you out through the front door. You put a ship out there and bring up some kind of docking car? You'll be out of air in a few minutes. There's no time for a caller. Sir, if you're talking about an EVA, we don't have pressure suits. We don't have a choice. Athena's going to position her Raptor in the front of the airlock. Hatch open. I'll blow the bolts right off of that door, and when it opens up, you're going to have to jump for it. Now listen to me, both of you. You can do this. People have been able to live up to a minute in exposure without a suit. Admiral, I don't know. We'll talk later. Get ready. Galactica, you have priority clearance. All other traffic is being waved away. Wait! What about Mickey? Admiral's right. I have to prep. I move everything away from here to the door. Galen, we both know what happens to kids on the fleet when their parents aren't there for them. Apollo and D. They'll take care of them. No. 
No pilots. He's not going through this twice. <sighs> Sir? There's a civilian family. Mother's name is Susan Steckler. She has a little girl. If anything happens to us, I'll see to it. I was being selfish. I wanted you with me. Like old times. I didn't think about Nick. Admiral's gonna get us out of here, okay? We're gonna take care of Nikki. More than a few seconds out there, we're talking severe exposure. Decompression sickness, at the very least hypothermia, they could freeze to death. Make sure Cuddle's got his hyperbaric chamber ready. Listen up. We don't have time to hang back until the airlock doors blow, so we're liable to experience some turbulence from the residual oxygen, maybe even some shrapnel hits. Athena, you're gonna have to be ready to compensate. I'm on it, Major. We'll hold position until Chief and Callie are secured. Let's just get this done. Galactica Apollo, Raptor door is open. We're standing by. Ready to execute. Chief, Kelly. Raptor's in position. We gotta go now. Get ready to blow the hatch. On my mark. Okay. No matter what, you hold on to me. Don't let go. Okay. Three!